This lesson describes the Quality Management System, QMS, and post-market safety measures for medical devices and IVDs. This is the concept of the post-marketing surveillance and QMS. In the pre-marketing phase, the effectiveness and safety of the device are assessed to determine whether both are achieved as intended, and if confirmed, an approval will be given and the phase of the product life cycle will shift from pre-market to post-market. The effectiveness and safety confirmed at the time of approval will not change if the quality of the product remains the same, and the certainty of such effectiveness and safety can be maintained by the QMS. If the quality fluctuates, both the effectiveness and safety will be affected. Therefore, the post-marketing surveillance activity starts at an earlier stage of the pre-marketing phase to confirm the intended effectiveness and safety, and they are continuously monitored after the approval. The QMS activity starts at a later stage of the pre-marketing phase and goes into the post-marketing phase to maintain the confirmed effectiveness and product safety. The relationship between the life cycle of medical device with the QMS inspections required by the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Act, or PMD Act in short, is illustrated here. During the regulatory review of the approval application, a pre-approval inspection will be conducted to confirm whether the marketing authorization holder, or MAH in short, has an adequate QMS in place. After the approval is given, if MAH plans to make any change that may affect the effectiveness or safety of the approved product, the MAH must submit an application for partial change approval, and a pre-approval inspection for such partial change will be undertaken. As the periodical monitoring of the QMS, post-approval inspections will take place every five years after the approval. Moreover, there are additional inspections when necessary. This is a schematic diagram of the authorities of QMS inspections, depending on the classification or type of products. In case of medical devices, QMS inspections will be conducted by the PMDA for all Class 4, brand new, or cell tissue-based products. And for some of the Class 2 and 3 medical devices, if there are no certification criteria for such products. In case of IVDs, the PMDA undertakes QMS inspections for new or radioactive IVDs and such IVDs that do not have certification criteria. QMS inspections for classes 2 and 3 medical devices and IVDs that have certification criteria are conducted by registered certification bodies. The next topic consists of post-marketing safety measures as the post-marketing surveillance. During the post-marketing period, the risk-benefit balance may deteriorate because of adverse events not anticipated before marketing. Therefore, the purpose of post-marketing safety measures is to restore a favorable risk-benefit balance. Post-marketing safety measures are conducted in three steps in Japan. The first step involves collecting information on adverse events from marketing authorization holders and or healthcare professionals facilities through PMDA's Adverse Event Reporting System. The second step involves analyzing the accumulated information and considering whether to take safety measures. In this step, external experts will be invited, as necessary, to discuss the issues and possible countermeasures. Opinion exchange with MAH will take place routinely. The third, last step is the implementation of safety measures, such as recalls and repairs, revision of package insert, information dissemination, and notification of safety measures. These measures will be implemented on a case-by-case -case basis. Please note that all medical devices, regardless of their risk classification, are subject to reporting requirements.